most of my patients know I'm a big fan of supplementing with fish oil, uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Because what most people do in this world, really, is they eat too many omega-6 fatty acids in relation to omega-3 fatty acids. What does that really mean? Well, most of us have no problem getting enough fat in our diet. We get it from nuts, uh, from seeds. Uh, a lot of it comes from vegetable oil and soybean oil and uh, grapeseed oil. And those fats are really pro-inflammatory. The types of fats you want primarily come from cold water fish. Uh, and of course, supplementing with fish oil is pretty much the easiest way to do it. Why would somebody take fish oil? What's the rationale behind it? Well, we know that if you have metabolic disease, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, excess trunkal obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure, you're undergoing an inflammatory response. And omega-3 fatty acids help lower that inflammatory response. Now research is showing that if you have dementia or if you're at risk for dementia, or if you're in chronic pain or have an autoimmune disease, supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids really is, is a tremendous uh, therapeutic um, uh, approach you could take to decrease your risk and decrease your condition. But this question I get quite a bit. Maybe I'm taking enough fish oil, or maybe I'm eating enough fish. Why do I need to take any more fish oil? Well, the people at Greens First did a fantastic job coming up with blood work to show really what your omega-3 levels are, and even an omega-6 to omega-3 ratio to see where you stand. So I took this test, and it's called an omega-3 index. And I got a boast here. I scored 8.51% which means it was uh, the best level of an inflammatory response. It was normal. Having the blood work done really confirms what you're doing is right or confirms what you're doing is not accurate or not helpful, where you would need to increase your omega-3 fatty acids. You could get a consumption, or if you could consume a daily consumption of fish oil from fish, that's a great idea, it's a great plan. The problem is a lot of these bigger fish, you think of tuna, when you think of swordfish, uh, dolphin, shark, they're also high in mercury, right? So you have to be careful with the size of the fish you're eating and of course, if they're given antibiotics to make them grow. So I'm a big proponent of taking fish oil and I'm also a big proponent of getting your omega-3 levels checked like I did. As always, it's not easy, it's always worth it. Come on in, we'll show you how this test is done very inexpensive, and we'll give you a sample of the fish oil and see if you like it. Thank you.